What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? This is Bishop Tommy L. Williams Sr. on this Relief Dr. Proud Pastor of Keys to the Kingdom International Ministries right here in Memphis, Tennessee. And the Word on the Move Tabernacle Church here in West Memphis, Arkansas. Praise the Lord. Welcome to Supernatural Night Church. Praise God. We thank God for you joining in with us uh, here on tonight. Praise God. Come on in. And let me make sure other stuff is loading up. Uh, praise God. Here we go. All right. We got, we got YouTube working. Making sure. Just doing my little check down. Making sure everything is working. Praise God. Oh, my voice sound a little. A little tired, but I I've been a long evening. Praise God, I've been rolling from one thing to the next, but but God is good. Praise God. There we go, and there we are. All right, come on, hit the share button for me, and uh, we're gonna get on into this bad boy. You know, Mondays is a is a uh, busy a busy day for me. Uh, normally, I know most pastors be off, but got so many things that we're uh, what I'm doing anyway. I uh, praise God, and so we're come on. All right, I'm send it out to to a few and. Uh, few people. Praise God. Give me a little drink of water and so hold my voice. I hold up here. So we've been all right, praise God. Come on here. We're gonna get this going. Put my notes up here. And we're still in our uh in our series, uh praise God, uh the importance of covering part six. And so as we're building this and as we're laying down a good foundation, um, we're just thanking God for yet what what he's yet doing. Um and we thank God for, for the revelation and understanding that we need from this. And so as we go forth, uh we can um, be better. Uh, when it comes down to covering or being covered, uh, which is vital during this time and then during this season. Uh, oh, praise God. So, all right, here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, let me put my notes up here. All right. Uh, so we get a little bit more in detail in uh, what is a covering and and uh, um, get in more detail. And we're describing it as God sees it and how God uh, established it in the body, uh, uh, in the body of Christ and also in the Bible. So we're giving you foundational scriptures and letting you see ways that God been covering us. Um, and most of us have really known it was covering, never saw it as really covering. And so we're going to um, um, uh, we're going to reveal these things to you and let you see. Uh, of course, we're going to get into the Old Testament pictures and and, and symbolism uh, tonight as we're we're uh, we're building this. And um, I promise you, it's going to bless you. And it's going to kill uh, a lot of fears that we that we've been uh, operating with and doing. And it's gonna it's gonna knock out a whole lot, um, a whole lot of uh, stuff. And as we are uh, going forth, and um, um, it's gonna bless you. Hold on, let me get this in. Okay, we got this going. All right, let's get into this. And uh, I've been enjoying this. And of course, some of the uh, teachings that we're uh, that we're doing is actually coming from. Hold on, hold on let me give you. I definitely want to give them credit. 
um, because all this stuff is not mine. You know, I do, I do a lot of research, and uh, of course, I add my stuff to, uh, uh, to it, and as I do my studies, and uh, so we hold on, and he find his, his name. Yeah, okay, uh, Lance Lambert. Uh, so I'm getting uh, a lot of information, great teaching. Uh, so a lot, a lot of information from him. Uh, praise God. And of course, we're adding some of my research and stuff that we're doing um, along with this as we're building, uh, as we're going forth. And so, all right. So last night, we talked about uh, our position. Our position is in Christ. And that's on last night, okay? And so uh, about the covering. And so when we are in Christ, we are covered, okay? And so everything that God uh, has given uh, Jesus, now we have access to, uh, and, and we are up under uh, those very things, okay? So so let's look at it, take it a little bit further here. So the Old Testament pictures and symbolism, okay? So suddenly we begin to find that all the Old, Tes Old Testament pictures and symbolism uh Stars uh, to uh, stars uh, to meaning something. I know we went over uh, some of these things as we did um, uh, in our basic introduction uh, when we were uh, showing different things in the Old Testament. All right, so now, now so we're gonna take it a little bit deeper. Okay, so they are summed up in in this matter of being in Christ. Okay, uh, covered in Him. Uh, here are a uh, here are a few as they are found in Scripture. We're going to show you some things in Scripture. Number one is the word stronghold. Okay. The word stronghold. I know we do a lot of teaching and stuff on strongholds and this and that. You know, they are positive and they are negative strongholds. But but I want you to see how God used stronghold, uh, used the word stronghold in, in, in Scripture. You'll see it uh, as a way of covering us. Okay. So stronghold in Hebrew I'm um, trying to pronounce this properly. Uh, is met um, sada, okay? Uh, uh, sada, I think. Yeah. All right, met sada. Uh, I think I'm pronouncing it right. Probably close, but not not perfect. Okay. So it means stronghold. All right. So Christ is uh, uh, that to the believer. He's our stronghold. What's going on, Shaquan? Uh, there from Jamaica. God bless you. We thank God for you. Um. So Christ is that to the believer. He's our what our stronghold. Um, and you can get and you can get watch this, you can get right into him. Uh, you are hidden in him. Uh, not only are you uh, uh, into him, but you also hidden in him. And so a whole city can be hidden uh, in that what great rock. Uh, so he is the fortress, okay? He is, of course, a uh, stronghold is another word for stronghold is fortified place. OK, so he is what the stronghold. He is the strong tower, uh, according to Proverbs 18 and 10, Proverbs 18 and 10. Uh, of course, uh, the righteous runner uh, uh, runneth into uh, into it and is wife. All right. So uh, word number one is stronghold. OK, uh, then word number two is refuge. And so when we see. The word refuge, he is what? Refuge. Uh, he is the wings under which uh, we have come to dwell. Okay. Uh, it speaks again and again of, uh, of wings in the Old Testament. Of course, in Deuteronomy, uh, it speaks a, uh, speaks a number of times of wings. Okay. So also uh, in many of the Psalms, it, <clears throat> excuse me, it speaks, uh, it speaks of wings, but it is also all uh, in the same. So we have come to dwell under his wings, okay? Come to dwell under his wings. And we're going to give you scripture in a second here. So his wings are like a protector uh, that covers us in Christ, okay? Just like uh, a bird, a, a eagle, or a hen, uh, a ducks protect their, uh, their young by putting them up on their, what, their wings. They're protecting them. They're shielding them, okay? So a, a shield and buckler. All right, here's another one, a shield and buckler. So we got stronghold, we have refuge, then we have shield and buckler. And uh, um, but a shield uh, is one kind.
kind of uh, is, is one of a kind shield and a buckler is another kind of shield. And so shield and buckler both are uh, different types of shields. OK, um, uh, therefore, uh, he is uh, uh, he is what shield and shield. Shield and buckler. He is the rock in whom we take what? Refuge. He's the rock in whom we take refuge. Uh, and then here's another word, okay? Uh, is house. Okay, so we have uh so we have a stronghold, uh, we have refuge, we have shield and buckler, and then also we have house. Okay. So he is what? The house. Now that he is something to think about, he is the house of God to which I come. Okay, so let's go to Psalms 27, verse number four. Psalms 27, verse, verse number four. Psalms 27, verse number four. Psalm 27, verse number four. One thing have I asked of the Lord that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord, okay, all the days of my life, uh, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple, okay? And so the house is not in reference really to, to the church building that we attend. That's that, that's not the house it's talking about, okay? So so when we is all actually talking about um as a symbol of Christ himself, okay? So when we are in Christ, you will find uh you will find him uh, yeah, uh him as the house of God. Okay. So so the house of God is not a building. All right. I want, want you to put that in, in the chat for me. The house of God is not a building. All right. Um, of course, and then also the house of God is not a organization. Uh, and then the house of God is not an institution. And this this is in reference to this scripture. I know we're talking about going to the house of God, you know, or we are in reference to going to the building to worship. And the, uh, here in text, uh, in Psalms 27, is not talking about where we go to worship, okay? It's not talking about where we go to worship. Uh, the house of God is a person. It is Christ, all right? It is the per uh, person of Christ, all right? So in when uh, in Psalms 27, talking about uh, that, that we may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, is talking about being in Christ, okay? So we come into him as the temple of God, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ said this here, he said, destroy this temple. And in three days, I will what? Raise it up. All right. I will raise, I raise it up in three days. All right. So, so uh, they thought he was talking about the building uh, called temple. But in fact, he was speaking of what? His body. All right. He was speaking of his, his body. So, so he spoke of something that was going, uh, going uh, to go into death. Uh, into bury and into what resurrection? Okay, so when it came out in resurrection, it was going to be what the house of God, the temple of God, what forever. Uh, we're gonna be what in Him. All right, we're gonna be where in Him. All right, so here's here's another word. Here's another word, uh, sanctuary. Okay. So uh, sanctuary is another uh, another uh, form of covering, all right? So the sanctuary is what? It's Christ. So when I came into the sanctuary, then I understood. I saw uh, thy ways, O God, in the sanctuary. Uh, in Christ, you are hidden, uh, covered in him. Oh, Jesus, come on. So, so the sanctuary here, once again, is not talking about what we're worshiping. It's actually symbolic of being in Christ. Okay. It's talking about being in Christ. All right. So, so it's important that we understand that. It's about being in Christ. All right. So let's go to the next one. The next one is tabernacle. Okay. And so we got sanctuary, we got the house, we got uh sanctuary, we got tabernacle. All right. So so watch this. The tabernacle had curtains all around it, right? These curtains were uh, blue, scarlet, purple, and white. 
Uh, they all spoke of Christ, uh, of his redeeming work, of his heavenly nature, okay, of his kingly nature, and of his absolute righteousness. Okay, so over that, uh, there was another covering of, of goat skin. And over that, another covering of badger skin, all right, or, or seal skin, all right. Badger is another, another is a, a different uh, uh, type of a seal or, or different uh, uh, in the seal family, all right, badger, okay. So uh, we, we're not quite sure uh, what they were, all right, but, but watch this. Uh, they were covering after covering. There was a covering after covering. There's a covering after covering, okay. So, so I want you to see the depths of this. And once you begin to understand some things, uh, you will see uh, that, <laughs> that why the enemy have to deceive us so much uh, and try to lure us from out from under the covering of, uh, uh, of the Lord, get us out of God. Um, because it, once we in Christ, uh, basically he don't have access to us at all. <laughs> when you begin to understand this and how this began to uh, unfold, okay? So every single thing speaks of some aspect of the Lord Jesus Christ, all right? So the tabernacle is the Lord Jesus Christ, all right? So this is what it symbolically means, all right? Not, not the building, not the building, okay? So uh, some people say that the tabernacle is the church, but this is not, uh, of course, the whole truth. The tabernacle speaks of the Lord Jesus Christ in all aspects of his being, okay? Uh, talks about his being, all right? So uh, of his character, uh, of his nature, of his works, and, and and God help us. Now watch this is So you and I, what, what we got to do? We have to come into the tabernacle of God. We got to come into Christ. Uh, we got to come into Christ. All right. So here's another one. Uh, um, provision. All right. Provision. So this is a word spoken of more as a palace. All right. When we talk about provision. All right. So he will hide me secretly in his what? Provision. Uh, Psalms 27 and 5, say, he will have me in the secret tabernacles of his what? Provision. In, uh, in another place, it says, he will hide me in his provision from the strife uh, of tongues. Okay, let's go to Psalms 31, uh, verse 20. Uh oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to, my bad, y'all, hold on. Uh, I forgot to pull my, uh, my power up. I got it. Load that just and put it on screen. Hold on. Hold on here. Let me put it on the screen. What in the world? Okay, what just happened? Oh man, don't do me like this. <laughs> it will let me put my Bible on the screen, y'all. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I wonder why. <sighs> okay. All right. All right, Psalms 31, verse 20. Let me, hold on here. Let me pull it up. Psalms 31, verse 20. This is crazy. All right, so this was, says in m5 it says in the secret place of presence see all right see how it's a reference to 
uh, who Christ is, okay? Not talking about what the building, in your place of your presence, you hide them from the plots and conspiracy of man. You keep them secretly in a shelter, provision from the strife of tongues. Lord have mercy. That's some good stuff there. Uh, praise God. So, let me, matter of fact, let me go and give you uh, Psalms 27. Uh, Psalms 27 verse verse 5. And so you you also see that and give you that in uh, in Amplified as well. I don't know why it won't let me pull up on my screen, though, but it's all right. We, we'll work it. We'll work around it. All right. Psalms 27 verse 5. It says, for in the day of trouble, he will hide me in his shelter. Okay. In the secret place of his tent. Uh, he will hide me. He will lift me up on a rock. Lord have mercy. See? And it's actually talking about uh, within him. So it's not talking about the building. Okay? So I know a lot of times when we hear the word uh, tabernacle, sanctuary, uh, and, and that it does mean that uh, at times. Okay? Uh, but here in, in the text, uh, that with this songs is not referencing to the building is in reference to uh to uh it's symbolic of Christ himself okay symbolic of Christ himself all right so it's like a king taking someone into the palace uh and hiding him in the secret place of a, a strongly fortified and guarded palace okay so the lord jesus christ is a pavilion into which you uh, and I can come and be absolutely safe and and feast with uh, the king himself. Okay. All right. The king himself. All right. So let's get another word. Just giving you um, different uh, pictures of uh, and, and, and symbols of what it is to be hid in Christ. Okay. All right. Being covered by him. So here's another one. Another word. Hiding place. <laughs> Uh, hiding place. So in many uh, places in scripture, uh, he is spoken of as a co uh, a covert, a covering place. Okay. A covered place. All right. Uh, uh, something that is sort of, of secret. He is the secret place of the most high. So it's in reference to, uh, uh, to who Christ is. It's the secret place of uh, of the most high. So all these scriptures begin to take take on meaning when you begin to understand that they are all symbolic and all in picture form and, and are setting forth the fact that the believer, the child of God has been placed by the sovereign uh, power of God in his son. Boy, that's some good stuff there. God bless you, pastor. Uh, man, that's some good stuff there. And, and so once you begin to understand that, and so when we start getting a better understanding how God has been covering us and see how many layers of covering that's on us, God help us, uh, uh, there's no way that Satan can get uh, directly to us unless he lure us out from under the covering. And so how we get out from under the covering? He tried to lure us out of Christ. God help us. Because all of these here are symbols uh, uh, or picture forms of uh, who who Christ is and how God has placed us in him. Ah, God, that's why it's so important that you got to have a real relationship with the Lord. Come on, you got to be saved for real, all right? And so it's important that we understand this, okay? Uh, we can't play church no more. We got to do this thing real. And, we, and, and you know, this ain't no, no switch. We turn it on and off. We turn it on and off. We turn it on and off. And uh, one minute we in the Lord, next minute we're not. And then one minute we in the Lord, next minute we're not. Uh, you know, we operate in the spirit on Sunday. And then the rest of the week we in flesh. Say, no, no, that's how. That's why the enemy keeps uh, uh, gaining advantage against us. Uh, because in so many ways, he have, uh, he have set up devices in, in, in the uh, in form of devices in and uh, luring us away from the Lord long enough to get a foothold. Okay, so so it's important that we understand this, and so so we are in in the sun. All right, so so, so these are basically all different aspects of, of that work, but it it shall finally come 
uh, uh, to the same thing. It's always, it's about in Christ, in Christ, in Christ uh, uh, that we live, we have our being. It, it's always about about him. And so that's why uh, that that we got uh, erroneous teachings from the world and, and all this fa- false doctrine, everything to tear down who Christ is. Because he's the whole key. Uh, God is not just about us uh, getting to heaven. It's also that that God has devised a plan in keeping us until it's time for us to enter into heaven. And, and what is that plan? Putting us in Christ, putting us in his son. Okay. So let's look at these offerings in the Old Testament. I want you, I want you to see this. So, so we're going to look at offerings. Lord Jesus. Uh-oh. I, I ain't, I'm not finna mess you, mess with your money. I ain't finna go after your money. Uh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you can calm down. Well, we're we going to be all right. Though. Watch this. So however, there is something far uh, more about uh, this matter of being uh, covered, and it is found in Leviticus. So, so we've been dealing with uh, 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 with the Old Testament, but open up your eyes on some things. God bless you. Uh, uh, lady, currently bless you. Watch this here. So, uh, and you can find these coverings basically in uh, like the first seven chapters of Leviticus. Okay. Okay. And as we begin to understand this, and I know young believers may may feel because uh, they can remember. Uh, uh, I don't know about you, but we you know when we had started reading Leviticus, <laughs> oh, Jesus, they start reading all that about all these folks dying and millions of deaths and all that kind of stuff. So we kind of stay away from things that's that's kind of frightening to us. Uh, Lord have mercy, but 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 we gonna we we miss so many great things that God has established. Okay. And and so uh, the offerings and the law uh, of uh, of this offering and the offerings of the law of that offering, you know, all these different offerings, and, and you know, we running from giving now <laughs> for a Lord how verse. So watch this here. So, so now since we are in the twentieth century, uh, uh, then uh, we're gonna look at some things to try to bring it bring it uh, to a point of be- better understanding. Uh, that there were uh, page after page, uh, chapter after chapter. Uh, about the, the details of each of these offerings, okay? And obviously, they are very important. That's why there's so many information. You know, we don't want to read about all the offerings. What uh, you know, I say it all the time. If we if we brought back sin offerings, every church would be debt free. <laughs> Jesus help me, oh Lord. Uh, but we thank God that Jesus. Uh, come on, what's the last offering for that? Uh, praise God. Uh, watch this here. So it was years afterwards that we began to understand how vital and how practical all of these business uh, businesses uh, was about offering. All right. So there are five offerings in those chapters and in, in uh, a chapter of Leviticus one through seven. There's, it talks about five different offer, uh, offerings. OK, uh, there is what we call the burnt offering, the meal offering, the peace offering the sin offering, and the trespass offering, all right? So we're going to kind of touch a little bit on each one of those. So Christ is every one, is every one of those offerings. And so he's symbolic of each one of those offerings. And uh, so, so we're going to kind of give you uh, some insight. Not going to go real deep because it, it's a whole lot, okay? So we're going to give you enough to kind of understand um, uh, that he represents each one of those offerings, all right? So uh, he is the fivefold offerings uh, for us. All right, I want you to put that in the chat for me. He is the fivefold offerings uh, uh, for us. All right. So uh, he is the fivefold sacrifice for us, uh, and it covers every single aspect of our relationship with God and with man. Okay, I'm gonna give you that again. I want you to put in in, in the chat that. Um, uh, that Jesus is the five off, fivefold offering for us. Okay, but and he also is what is the fivefold sacrifice for us, and so so, so it's going to cover every aspect. 
uh, every single aspect of our relationship with God and with man. So in other words, we are covered by the sacrifice of the Lord Jesus Christ. See, it's not that he just sacrifices life. We, we also covered by. So we are covered by the finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ, right? The offering up of himself once and for all. Mm, mm, mm. All right. Yeah, I'm just trying to save my voice here, okay? <laughs> Jesus. So I ain't going too hard, okay? I'm not going hard. Not going hard. I'm not going hard, okay? So we're just going to be in just in teaching mode. Hope it's not boring to you. Okay, I ain't gonna make you shout, but it it it, it watch it it'll, it'll enhance your shouting. I'll put it like that. So let's look at burnt offering. Let's look at burnt offering. So uh, this has not as much to do with sin, uh, but but the burnt offering is all to do with service, all to do with worship. Okay, I'm say that again. Burnt offerings is not so much to do with sin, but the burnt offering is all to do with service and with worship. With service and with worship. Okay. So some people think that all you have to uh uh you have to go and do is consecrate yourself uh to God and and um uh, and uh uh Fouling yourself into uh, the work of God, you know, just I'm just consecrating myself and get to work uh, and do, do all this work. All right. Now, that's the surest way that you will uh, you will get uncovered <laughs> doing it that way. That's not that's not how you do it. OK, so how does God receive anything? Uh, he burned it up. Right. <laughs> so he takes the, uh, the whole and what consumes it. He takes all of it and consume it. So uh, is there any, uh, come on now, that we, we, we got to be real with this. Here. We got to think about it. Is there anybody ready for this? All right. Because when you do a burnt offering, you're taking everything and you're consuming it. You're burning it up. God help us. Uh, you know, and you ain't got to go real deep with it to understand it. All right. But our Lord Jesus Christ has been offered up as a burnt offering. We can go to scripture in a second. Uh, uh, watch this. Go to Psalms, uh, forty, verse six through eight. Psalms forty, verse six through eight. So. Hope I'm not boring you all. <laughs> Jesus, I'm trying, <clears throat> trying to save my voice. What 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 I have left? Uh, praise God. Watch watch this. Watch this. Um, verse number six, Psalms forty, verse six through eight. It says, "Sacrifice and meal offering. You do not desire this amplified version. You do not desire, nor do you delight in them. You have uh, opened my ears and given me the capacity to hear." Uh, and obey your word. Burn offerings and sin offerings you do not require. Then I say, hold, I come to the throne in, uh, in the stroll of the book it is written of me. I delight, to, watch this, I delight to do your will, O oh my God. Your law is within my heart. That's Psalms 40, verse 6 through 8. Okay. Now, now watch this because because it's important that we, that we just grab this. I want you to see it. So, um, um, so in other words, he's saying, uh, um, "Lo, I come to do Thy will. I delight to do Thy will. Oh, uh, oh God, my ear has uh, has Thou digged or open. So you don't you don't got my attention, basically, right? It says God has well got His what His ear." So, so the psalmist said, God got my ear. God didn't got his attention. But my service must always, watch this here, my service, uh, but my service must always fail. Why? If I had the zeal of the apostle Paul, uh, watch this, once you grab this, uh, where the labor 
uh, and labored like he did, or if we had the revelation and understanding and the passion of Apostle John still, I would need the Lord Jesus Christ as my what? My burnt offering. God help us. See, no matter what uh, uh, what level we think we are, we still need that burnt offering. Oh, God help us. I could not well plead anything of myself. So in other words, no matter how smart I am, how many scriptures I can quote unto the Lord, no matter how much service I, I done render, uh, then yet I still need, I still need, uh, uh, Jesus to represent me. <laughs> God help us. Uh, because we can't plead anything of ourselves. Just like when you go to court, you got to have an advocate. You got to have a lawyer that's going to speak on your behalf. Of course, you can represent yourself, but it's going to be very difficult to get anything done because there's a different level of respect. Uh, Lord help us. So, uh, oh God, see me. See what I have offered to you. Uh, see how devoted I am. See, uh, the further I go, the deeper I go with God, the more I must plead the covering of the Lord Jesus Christ. He is what? My burnt offering. No service uh, from me is accessible apart from the Lord Jesus Christ. So everything that we do must be unto the Lord. <laughs> okay, come on. We can't do it in ourselves. Come on. Uh -oh, we, we can't do it in ourselves. And many try, but it ain't going to work out. Uh, you got to do it in the Lord. And so uh, what that does, watch this. It keeps all of us on the same level playing, playing ground, rather. Uh, it keeps us humble. Oh, Jesus. Uh, it keeps us uh, uh, right there. All of us going to need the Lord. I don't care how long you've been doing it. I don't care uh, how knowing it that you uh, that you are. I don't care how many scriptures you can quote. Uh, I don't care how uh, what church that you are part of. I don't care what title you carry. At the end of the day, all of us still going to need the Lord. We can't do anything without him. Can't do anything without him. Praise the Lord. Can't do anything without him. Ah, oh, that is your course. All right, that's the burn offering. So let's look at meal offering. Okay, let's look at meal offering. Like I said, well, we're not going, I'm not going real deep in them because there's a whole lot in each one of them. Uh, but these, I just give you some, some highlights of what each one of these uh, uh, five offerings represent, okay, in Christ, okay? So the meal offering speaks of humanity, Okay. So God always mixes this in with the other offerings because it is meal and not meat. <laughs> Jesus help us. See, uh, it speaks of the uh, perfect humanity of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you, man. The God passed by. Let bless you. So, uh, and I want you to think about this uh, because has anyone got perfect humanity? No. <laughs> So, so uh, the kind of service we find so often in Christian circles, mechanical, cold, hard, legal, all right, according to regulations, it is not what? Human. So the one thing that we see about the Lord Jesus Christ is what? Humanity. Yeah, that's what the, what the meal offering represents. Now, like I told y'all, this ain't, this ain't shouting stuff, but it's to get an understanding how the Lord has has God have us covered in Jesus? And we need to know. You no, know, we read about these offerings and all the different type of offerings. Uh, but then, yet, do we really understand the benefit of them? Okay, and all of them are uh, symbolic of who Christ is in our lives. Okay, so so the thing that shines through Him uh, when God is most uh, revealed in Him as God is His what? Humanity. Jesus. <laughs> So how can we know that? The Lord Jesus was offered as uh, that for what? For us. He is the only one who could bring that kind of humanity uh, into us as what? A new man. Lord, have mercy. See, 
So if we try to bring our, our old nature in and polish it up and rehash it, uh, it and then what presents to God as a new new kind of humanity, then this is going to be an awful mess. Yeah, y'all know we just can't just come any kind of way uh, like we try to dress ourselves up. No, come on, any man be in Christ, he's a what new creation. Behold, all things uh, become new. See, you're what brand new. Old things have passed away, and, and behold, all things will become new. So, so you're a new creation. You brand new. You can't you can't bring the old you and dress it up and, and polish it off, and you know, and clean it up, and then then there you go. You doing it your way, and think it's gonna be acceptable unto the Lord. It's gonna be rejected. It's gonna be a what a hot mess. So God can produce something in us. Uh, God help us as, as taking the covering of Jesus Christ as the new man. Okay. See, uh, brand new. <laughs> God help us. All right, let's go to the next one. Like I said, we're not going to go real deep uh, because there's a whole lot in all of this. Uh, the next one is peace offering. Okay. Peace offering. So the peace offering was the one offering that, that we all share, okay? The peace offering is the one offering that we all share. So if, if you took the offering to the temple in the old days, uh, you went in and sat down and ate, right? So first the priests uh, had their portion, then the Levites had their portion, and then it was handed back to you. God, you and your family sat down in the temple, uh, a court and had a jolly good old feast. All right, then you ate. Uh, Y'all have I did it back in that day when uh, when mom and them invited the pastor them uh, over to the house to eat dinner with us on Sunday after church. Y'all remember that uh, that we had to sit back and wait uh, till they got through eating, and we were just hoping there gonna be some left. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, uh, so so that's uh, so so this is where they get this from. Okay, when you brought bringing the peace off, because they want they wanted the pastor to come to the house because want the house to be blessed. And, and and so so when you bring your peace offering, okay, uh uh that that is shared, God help us. All right. And so when you took it to the temple in the in the olden days in biblical times, watch this. You went in, sat down, well, watch this. And and a first. Watch uh, watch this and sit down and ate. All right, watch this. But did this 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 the order? First, the priests had their portion. Then the Levites had their portion. Okay, and then it was handed back to you. So after uh, after uh, the priests and the Levites got their portion, come on. Then it was handed back to you. Then you was able to sit down. See that's. When you begin to understand giving and the tax, and when you get begin to understand all of that, uh, uh, Lord have mercy. But uh, uh, say I, I can take this thing going a little deeper, and, and I don't want to make make nobody no matter no matter uh, when you know we, we get up on the people's uh, skin when we start talking about the money. But I'm really not talking about money. We talking about we talking about uh, the shared offering, the peace offering. Okay, oh Jesus. So watch this, uh, watch this, because this is it's, it's, it's very interesting uh, that we begin to to, uh, to understand it. So it was called the peace offering, not only because it spoke of peace between us and God, but uh, peace between uh, us and our brothers and sisters. Y'all come on, talk to me. Let's sit down and fellowship together. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Hey, you know, we can sit down and break bread together. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Uh, uh, come on now. So, so you can commune together. You can participate together and you can share together. That's uh, that's the purpose behind uh, uh, the peace offering. Lord, help us. So watch this, watch this. So our relationships are continually subject to what? Pressure. Our relationships are, 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 are continually subject, subject what? To pressure. Because why? Because we have an enemy, right? So all the time he uh, breathes into our ears um, um, 
um, what word I'm looking for? Uh, Jesus, uh, tension and and opposition. Uh, uh, God help us uh, about one another, right? So all the time he uh, he is trying to to press. Watch this to press things and relationships uh, to the what breaking point, marriages and friendships and and, and uh, fellowship uh, uh, with your other sisters and brothers in Christ and, and and always trying to put pressure on it co-workers and all those things, neighbors and always doing that. Watch this. And 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 understand uh, that's what he does all the time. Trying to destroy relationships. Okay. Now, you know, we'll get into uh, I like so-and-so and so-and-so and, and, and I'll never get uh, and we'll never get parted and, 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 and she and I'll never uh, uh, get uh get part of it because uh you know we buddies we friends we uh uh you know we uh we boys you know we road dogs and all this stuff we do all that that we gonna uh you know come on we ride and dine together all what we say all those things that but the enemy keep putting pressure on us so so you will find that when the devil gets to work the dearest uh natural uh relationship will come to a breaking point see always he's working <laughs> Y'all come on, talk to me. See, he's working. Lord. So, so this is the only way uh, 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 through covering. The Lord Jesus Christ covered us because uh, he was offered as our peace offering. See, and it is him uh, that we share. So God help me. And so, so when we bring Jesus into the equation, we always bring peace. C come on. Uh, uh, you know, Jesus always come here when he when he approached the disciples all the time. Uh, 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 we got ready to leave them. Peace, I leave with you. Come on, peace be unto you. Yeah, y'all come on, talk to me. See, and and, and then uh, you know that's why the Bible says that uh, that for we for the peacemakers are what the children of God. And so as we begin to understand that we should be offering peace, how we do that by offering Christ. Oh, we. So, what are we really offering, and who are we offering? Hmm. We offer ourselves up. When everybody, y'all come on, ah, just offer Jesus. It's offer the Jesus that's in you up. So, so who is this offering that is offered up and given back to us to eat? It is Christ. Okay. So, as we offer Christ, uh, as we take back. Uh, into our hands what God has offered to uh, for us, then we share him, uh, 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 I share him with you, you share him with me, you share with others. Uh, come on now. And we begin to share with him. So our relationship in Christ, uh, God help us. Our unity in Christ, we do not, uh, come on now, we do not agree to agree, but we do, uh, uh, watch this, but we do not just try to make our opinion the same, we hold uh, the oneness of the Lord Jesus Christ because why? He is the covering. So, so even when we are not in total agreement, but because we are in agreement with Christ, y'all come on. See, we can work that thing out. We can get a better understanding. We can we can stay connected. We can stay because he is our what? Our covering is only when we get out of Christ when there's tension, when there's division. See, united we stand, divided we fall. How much time I got? Okay, I got, I got enough time. So, so let's look at a uh, sin offering, uh, the uh, last two. Sin offering, trespass offering. All right, we're going to look at both of these together because uh, uh, these kind of like deal with sin, so we're going to deal uh, both of them together, okay? So if someone has committed sin, then we all understand that the Lord Jesus Christ is what the sin offering. But what about the trespass offering? So in these uh, uh, demographic, uh, democratic, no, <laughs> demographic, <laughs> uh, uh, democratic days when when there are such uh, cockeyed ideas over uh, uh, all over the place, uh, we find that many Christians get get this attitude. 
God won't hold me uh, responsible for the things. Well, come on now, some things that I didn't know, even uh, even uh, it was sin. Y'all, y'all know we always gonna find a way out, right? All right. <laughs> Watch this here, but 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 see, that's where we're uh, that we are wrong. We are, we are uh, uh, watch this. We are just being subject to uh, uh, subject when we uh, think about uh, uh, that sin is only what uh, what we know to be is it, what sin. If that's how we think. Then we we in a whole lot of trouble. So if you knew what sin really was, you probably uh, probably go into uh, the mental home. If you really if we get deep into what sin really is, uh, God help us. So it is. Watch this. Uh, it is in the mercy. And the grace of God that we do not understand the full capacity of sin and understand what we are capable uh, of as human beings. See, God help us. See, we do not even understand what uh, uh, what's uh, uh, inside of us. When a person sinned unwittingly, uh, uh, there was, uh, watch this here, there was uh, still an offering. Oh, Jesus. When a person sins, they sin. The trespass offering speaks of God passing over uh, sin because God, watch this here, because people did not know, but they were still sins. I'm going to give you that again. The trespass uh, offering speaks of God passing over sins because people did not know. That's when we... Forgive, asking him, forgive us our sins that we knowing and not knowing. Come on, knowing and unknowing. All right. But they still were seeing just because we asked him to forgive us of the sins that we did not know we committed, uh, uh, still does not change the fact that it was sin. Amen. Oh, Jesus. Y'all, y'all come over here. Watch this here. So, so just because they did not know it, it did not keep it from being what? Sin. It's still what? Sin. I know wrong generation, wrong time. We, we can't talk about sin in church. Now. You know, I ain't going directly to nothing. We just want you to get an idea of what it is and, and why it's so important. They said, we'll start appreciating uh, what Jesus did out on Calvary a whole lot more than what we're doing. We didn't kind of water it down now, but God help us. So this is the thing that comes down again. Watch this. Here. Sometimes we come to a meeting and, and it is so heavy and so dark. Uh, it is, oh, come on now. It is what, what we call unwitting sin. <clears throat> uh, there is not a single soul uh, uh, in the company that could hold the Lord Jesus up. Uh, uh, watch this as a trespass offering. See, we need the Lord. See, we have found again and again that that in uh, uh, come on now uh, uh, that in, in our times on Sunday morning, when, when there has been a sense of heaviness, and and when uh, we have pleaded for the Lord Jesus as a trespass offering and a peace offering, immediately the atmosphere has been broken. Come on, have y'all ever been in in a service like that? Like it was just so heavy. And, and and everything was dragging, just can't get in no kind of flow. Lord, have mercy, just man, what you know? Cause we we want them a high all the time, but sometimes it just ain't working. No matter what what the prayers is, uh, no, no matter what uh, uh, what the uh, music department is rendering, uh, it just man, it's like it's just one of them days. You know, all of us have them. Come on, uh, I, I I know we like to say that we have. Uh, 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 powerful services all the time, but every now and then, come on, uh, we'll lay an egg. I mean, it, it takes a minute. We got to work hard. Come on. Well, we've been, uh, I've had them at church and I've been to other four churches where we didn't have them in different conferences. It just, man, we had to work hard uh, uh, to uh, uh, to break through, but, but but we stick with it. We end up breaking through. And, and so that's when we got to start really calling on the presence of the Lord to come in to break that atmosphere, okay? And that's where uh, uh, the trespass offering and the peace offering, uh, uh, we ain't calling people sinners, but but then yet, uh, uh, those be the things that clutter up the atmosphere. Oh, Jesus. Ah, that is your course. And so, so, so watch this. So how do we explain that? 
uh, it is psychologically uh, or is it a matter of covering? See, sin has been committed. Lord help us. So people have taught uh, uh, un un unwisely. People have prayed unwisely. Some Someone has done something unwisely, right? Because we all are bound up together. So we uh, we affect one another. So you ain't got to be everybody. Uh, come on, when one hurt, all hurt. When one happy, all happy. We affect one another. And that's that, that we just got to understand. You can't be sitting over in the corner and talking about, oh, I'm just all dripping in Jesus and, and doing all of that. And then, uh, you know, it's them, not me. No, it affects all of us. Amen. Come on. Uh, uh, when uh, when when uh, when the children of Israel lost a uh, uh, lost a battle with AI, come on now, and, and uh, uh, Joshua was distraught, and he uh, uh, laid out before God and rip, ripped the clothes and and down there, and God interrupted him and told him, "Get up! <laughs> they are seeing in the camp," and told him, "Go search uh, 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 search the tents." Uh, uh, of everybody, and then they found one man. Y'all come on, talk to me here. Achan, uh, one man who have stolen the accursed things, the things that have belonged to God that supposed to have been destroyed. Uh, praise God. He hid him uh, and, and, and dug a hole and hid him in this uh, tent, mixed in with his stuff. And because of that, it affected the whole nation. Uh, uh, Y'all heard me. So, so it ain't got to be everybody wrong. Come on. But because we are bonded together, see, it affects everybody uh, one way or another. And so they had to go and deal with God, had to get the sin out the, out the camp. Uh, thank God for Jesus. Oh, he entered the Oko Sea, uh, shedding his blood. So, so, so watch this. The invisible forces uh, uh, around, uh, 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 around us know all about it. Y'all, come on, talk to me. See, see, and you got to understand that uh, God help us, and, and and we do ain't flesh and blood. Come on, uh, as soon as heaven is calm, they say, "Oh, oh, so and so." You know what? We start pointing fingers. Come on, <laughs> uh, y'all know we do it. We do it on the slide. Come on, y'all come on up in here, uh, uh, dripping off last night what you were doing this and that. See, we we just start pointing fingers. All right, watch this here. So, so we do blame flesh and blood, right? But we really do blame. Uh, uh, we really do blame uh, flesh and blood, and we know that uh, uh, I'm I'm guilty of it, and I know you guilty of it. Uh, uh, all of us are guilty of it, are give it, guilty of it at one point or another. All right, but probably more so than others. So, so we take hold uh, of people and say it is what so and so, so and so. Uh, uh, you know, children come in acting crazy and all this, and uh, uh, husband come home drunk. You know, the wife with attitude, got all these things going on. Uh, uh, you know, so so we start pointing fingers at this and that. All right, <laughs> ah, Jesus, and so uh, you, you know, it just it's just how we do it. So if we have not sung that dreadful uh, hymn at the beginning, but you know, we are all off key on the song. You know, uh, uh, we're blaming on the musician. You're playing that wrong key, uh, or 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 so and so forgot they verse. You know, so, so we are gonna go to what pointing fingers, but at the end of the day. Uh, come on, if you in the choir, then the whole choir messed up. Uh, Y'all, come on, talk to me. Uh, uh, see, 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 that can't point that one person. Come on. So, so when when we blame uh, so and so, so and so, because so and so, so and so, uh, come on now, uh, uh, chose that that song, that chose that. Uh, uh, you know, no, we told them we couldn't get it in practice. Then you still want to sing it. Uh, uh, see, <laughs> y'all, y'all, come on, talk to me here. Uh, I, I, I told, I told Pastor I wasn't ready. Uh, 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 the priest and not to see, and, and he put me on up there anyway. And so now it's pacified because you, you weren't prepared. Because they already told you you're going to, uh, uh, that, that you're going to be bringing the word, but, but, but because you said you weren't ready. So your responsibility is what to get ready. But, but, but we are blaming on them. See, that's how we do it. You know, Adam said it was that wife that you gave me. Then, then, then Eve said it, it was a serpent. <laughs> Y'all, come on, talk to us. So that's by nature. That's just what we do. So it is. Uh, uh, it has nothing to do with flesh and blood uh, at all. Uh, uh, but this is where roots of bitterness begin. Uh oh, we're gonna get deep in it. 
I ain't got but a few minutes left. So uh, it has nothing to do with that at all. It, ha it has to do perhaps with something that no one uh, knows about in a particular life. And that and that one uh, does even uh, watch this here. And and uh, Lance put, put this in here. And I want to make sure I share this with you. And he says this is as and that uh, one does not even know himself that he was unwittingly sin. And sometimes uh, uh, people just don't even know that they messed up and they did the wrong thing. But we are wham out. Lord, have mercy. So the fivefold covering covers something, okay? Not only do uh, uh, to do with sin, but with service, with worship, presenting our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is our spiritual, uh, uh, come on, intelligent worship service. Come on, uh, Romans 12 and 1. I beseech you, brothers, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies as uh, holy, Come on now, at, at what a living, holy sacrifice, which is your reasonable service. Come on, see, and so it comes right down to sin committed unwillingly. All right, and basically unwillingly, uh, similar means unknowing. Uh, all right, so that's where the trespass comes in. That watch this here. So that is what it means to be in Christ. So it it means that God has given us a salvation so great. Oh, geez, I feel like running. Uh, so tremendous, so infinite that not a single contingency, uh, uh, not a single emergency, not a single avenue of uh, of Satan needs to be be opened up or needs to remain open because God has given us a cycle, such a sacrifice, such a covering that we are covered. I want somebody to put in the chat. I got to get ready to close it out that we are covered. I told y'all this. Boy, I know the beginning of it ain't shouting stuff, but I'm getting down. I'm, I'm getting stirred up. My time running out now. God help us. See, when you begin to understand the uh, uh, the purpose of being covered and understand why he got to cover us. Uh, see, and, and so if we really knew these things that we can pray uh, uh, in this way, uh, uh, who by the spirit of God, uh, God help us, uh, uh, when, 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 when to take the Lord Jesus as a burnt offering, uh, who knew when it, uh, uh, who to uh, take the Lord Jesus as a peace, a peace offering, uh, who knew when to take him as a trespass and a sin offering. Well, none of us know which one to pull out and which, because we really didn't have knowledge of what, what they, each one of them re represented. So you can only know that by by what by uh, the anointing, but by uh, but uh, uh, that is what prayer comes in. That watch this. Here. So some people are insensitive and so dull that the only way that they would know the devil was among them was that uh, if he appeared physically in front of them. <laughs> Jesus, I, I verse it. Come on down. Uh, uh, yeah, that's that's all, that's all the way uh, in, in front of them in their very eyes and gaze at him. Uh, see, because they don't recognize the other things that he does. Okay. So when they say, uh, oh, well, we must uh, take the covering. Uh, no. See, how tragic that really is. If we were alive to God, if we were alive to the spirit of God, there would be times when we we know there is something going on here. And the only answer is to what? The Lord Jesus. It is a question of covering or uncovering. See, so, so it comes down to, so as we begin to approach things a little different when, when things go on, and watch this here. Instead of saying, uh, oh, the devil is doing this, and then why is that? Well, you know what? Uh, uh, I got to make sure we ain't, we ain't got out from under the covering. Because <sighs> as long as you are covered, he can't do nothing. Okay. Boy, I, I'm slow walking into this. As long, I know I got to go. As long as we are under the covering, the devil can't do anything. So he uh, he devises different plans and strategies to get us, allure us from under the covering so he can make some kind of impact against us. Praise the Lord. I, I got to go. I know my time up. Lord, how burst y'all. Ah. So next on the agenda are three ways of being in Christ. All right, three ways of being in Christ. Yeah, we we gonna we gonna deal with that.
uh, try to help you uh, in those those areas and, and powerful. And so when you begin to now understand that that when the enemy is operating, when things are happening, when he's manifesting, we just got to make sure that we are uh, still under the covering because when we are covered, man, that that joke become he uh, becomes stripped of his power. Oh, Jesus. Well, I pray that y'all were blessed tonight. I know I, ain't, I didn't do no, I couldn't do no pulling and then didn't do no hollering uh, tonight. I apologize for those that, uh, uh, you know, you need a little bit of that. Uh, praise God. But just trying to conserve what voice I do have left. And uh, it's been, been a long day uh, today. Praise God. And so, um, and uh, cause next week we're gonna get into uh, the danger of getting uncovered, uh, and so uh, and so, so we we'll get into all them things so you can see why it's so important that we maintain our covering uh, in the Lord. Uh, and so I know that I pray that was very interesting to you uh, about the offerings. You know, in time we hear the word offering, you know, us in the church. Well, we get, well, you know, we lose our spirit. <laughs> and we think it's somebody trying to get something out of it, but we want to. So, so read up on that. Uh, uh, the first seven chapters of Leviticus. And it talks about those five offerings uh, uh, that there and all of them are symbolic. It represents Christ. And so when you begin to look at each one and what they mean, and uh, then you have better understanding of, uh, all those things that we got in Jesus. Oh, see, all those things that we got in Jesus. And so I want you to um, just read up on that and give you a little homework assignment and do that. Uh, praise God. And so we're thanking God for you on tonight and pray that you are blessed and that you are well uh, in the Lord. Praise God. And, and uh, we just speak blessings on you. Thank you for your time. Uh, praise God. Continue to pray for us. And as we're going forth in the Lord, and I pray for you, and we pray that that you'll continue to be blessed. Uh, praise God! You know, tomorrow Valentine's Day, pray that you uh, show yourself love first before you try to love on somebody else. That's way then when you uh, render that love that you have for yourself, it'll be more impactful to those who you're trying to trying to love on. Amen. Love you. Appreciate you. We'll see you next time. Got to remind that you never be broken another day in your life. All your needs are met or and above increases in stature of wisdom and favor with God and with me. And I am Bishop Tommy L. Williams, Senior, better known as Relief Doctor, Proud Pastor, the Keys to the Kingdom, International Ministries, and the Word on the Move, Tabernacle Church. We thank God for you. We love you. Appreciate you. And we'll see you next time. Praise God.